Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Miss Four Counts Killer. Um, this is a PlayStation 4 Pro version of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This is uh, in the beginning, uh, in-game engine, uh, rotational display, and I'm using this as an example just to show you how beautiful the deep dark levels are on this game okay as you can see right here you can look in, in the corners right here the deep dark levels are aligned perfectly there's nothing here being uh, over bled if you want to use the term over bled mean over bleed in terms of light the light control what I want to say is this the light control on this television it's pretty darn good man they really did a great job with the light control yes there's some glare reflection on this television on this panel but still overall it's really done well uh, and I'm purposely doing this on an angle like I'm purposely like positioning my camera on an angle because that's where a lot of people notice and they say that there's a you know bending light that it's showing and this and that I haven't really experienced any issues in terms of local dimming this video is really about the local dimming uh, you know some people say it's 40 local dimming zones some people say it's 50 some people say it's 70 nobody really knows because you can't turn off the local dimming so therefore it's hard to measure how many local dimming zones this TV has you can only select local dimming to here I'll show you uh, let me go ahead let me go to the settings just so you guys understand what's going on here uh, let's go to the picture expert settings you can only select local dimming to high standard and low you cannot turn it off okay you cannot turn off the local dimming right now my local dimming it's set to high so you can't turn this off okay uh, so you know guys <laughs> if there was some sort of a light bleed if there was some sort of an issue uh, with this uh, television and this is PlayStation 4 Pro if there was an issue with the local dimming I would be the first one to tell you hey the local dimming sucks here but this television really produces a wonderful deep dark levels for an LCD I swear to God at, at the times when you turn the lights on it almost feels as if you're watching an OLED. That's how good the viewing angle is. It almost feels as if like you're watching an OLED with a very high peak brightness and color accuracy. Okay. Now Q9FN has over 480 local dimming zones. Now Artings has tested it, and you know, did they notice that? Is there like a dramatic difference in terms of deep dark levels between the Q9FN and Q8FN? They couldn't really determine, uh, according to what Cedric, Cedric was saying, he really couldn't determine that it was something that you need to cash out an extra thousand dollars just to go and get a Q9FN. Uh, so they're, they're really both equally great. The one major difference you will notice on Q9FN is that extra 400 nits from 1600 nits here so total of 2000 nits but that extra 400 nits is that gonna be a game changer I don't know if, if it's gonna be a game changer so I don't necessarily know if you really need to run out and just purchase a Q9FN unless you can get it for a really good price you know if you can get it for like 2800 2700 yeah go for it you know but you shouldn't be cashing out 3200 3500 you know 
it's still expensive. You know, it's still an expensive TV. Yeah. Uh, and another major difference is the fact that the Q9FN has that big, gigantic one connector box that it's size of uh, OPPO 4K UHD Blu-ray player, man. That's how big it is. Now, let, let's look at this from the right side. I just want to see something. I want, I want to look at this from the right side. Look at that dark area right here. Look, look at those deep, dark levels here. Look how beautiful that is. Maybe I can uh, go down at the bottom a little bit, like right here, just so you guys can see a little bit better. Pretty darn good, man. Pretty darn good. If you guys are looking for a me testing this TV in the dark room, there is a video that I tested on the dark room. So it's out there. You guys can check it out. I used uh, zombie mode, black ops. I tested it in the dark room. And I also did a comparison between this and Samsung KS8000, also in the dark room. And I did it with the Matrix. And the differences are obviously like night and day in deep dark levels. I'm really, guys, I'm trying to find some kind of fault with this TV. This is my seventh day. And I'm really trying to find something wrong. Like, it's like can I at least find something wrong about this TV? It's, uh, but I can't really find anything wrong. Everything seems to be running smooth, and I, if there was something for me to complain about, I would be the first one to tell you, hey, like, this sucks, I have to address this issue, there's an issue with this, there's an issue with that. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to encounter too many issues in the future, but as of now, as of my seventh day testing this television, I haven't really bumped into any uh, problems. All these problems that people talk about, all this other agenda people talk about on their YouTube channels, I really haven't bumped into none of that stuff. You know, and I haven't bumped into any of that stuff. So. Well, there you have it. Just a short little video. I wanted to do this uh, just to show it to you a little bit. Um, look, man, uh, Q8FN is excellent so far. Now, what do they mean by aggressive local dimming zones? Uh, it means that they're trying to constantly suppress that bleeding light, meaning that they're trying to make sure that there is no bending light. So the light is controlled. The problem is uh, HDTV test Vincent Teo didn't like it because it was on some movies it was crushing some scenes like you couldn't see the stars and uh, he didn't like that but I don't know his settings what type of settings did he have uh, look guys I can't speak for other people I can only speak for myself okay I'm not crushing anything here everything's set to a, a brightness level right here let me show you uh, just so you guys understand here okay let me show you really quick. Expert settings. You see my brightness levels. Hold on. You see my brightness level here. I'm going to show you to my brightness level. It's set to 50. My backlight to 50. My contrast to 50. Uh, my brightness at the middle. So I'm not crushing anything here. So I don't know. Uh, you know, everybody's got different opinion. Everybody's got different, you know, ideas and whatnot. I can just tell you my experience, guys, okay? And this is why you come to my channel, because I'm not sponsored. I'm not working for uh, some television shop with a partnership where they give me some freebies and whatnot. This is all me. I'm trying to tell you exactly what I'm experiencing, okay? And I'm telling you right now that this TV has no bending light whatsoever. If you want me to repeat it every day to you, I'll repeat it every day to you. If your TV has a bending light, then you got a defective uh, model. You need to return it, get another one. So far, I'm not experiencing any of these things that people have mentioned for Q8FN and, and Q9FN. I haven't experienced none of it. None of it so far. That's all I want to say. All right, guys. Well, take care. Have a good one. And I'll see you tomorrow.